let's talk about big men that catch footballs. And they're all pretty big, but these guys are the biggest ones that catch footballs because the position has been redesigned over the last five, six, seven years. And we're talking about tight ends. But first, CEO, President, COO of Fan... He just added that to his title because that's how he rolls. Of Fancy Smack Talk. All eyes. All Go eyes. ahead and talk to us about DraftKings. DraftKings, if you haven't signed up yet, if you want a free Smack Talk shirt, just sign up for DraftKings using the promo code FST. Follow the card or the link in the description. Follow the instructions there. Sign up, deposit five or more dollars before the start of the season. We will send you a shirt, and DraftKings will give you a free entry into a cash game. They are a lot of fun. You need to play them this year if you have not. And I'm going to do a weekly video, give you some values and whatnot. You're going to win you some cash. It. You don't want to miss that. It's going to be great. All right, let's talk about Smack Talk's overall thought on tight ends. And this is the one position where we're, we're all about value, right? We're never, we don't like to, we like tight ends. We're not going to say we're never going to take Gronk or anything like that, but we want to have the value. We don't want to reach for any of them. We want to take a guy that's going to fall, that falls a little bit past their ADP or a little bit lower than they think we should, and that's when we gobble it up. So we might target a couple, but we have to get them at the right price. It's all about value at tight end this year, and that includes Gronk. You know, Gronk is the kind of the outlier this year in terms of the tight end that's just in a tier of it by himself. And he is getting drafted in the first round in some leagues. I don't think that's good value just because of who you're passing on to take him. I mean, obviously you're excited to get Gronk, you're excited to have the best tight end, but I mean, you're passing on, you know, either Luck or Rodgers or maybe Dez or CJ Anderson, Antonio Brown. There's just too much value between the eighth and 10, 11th pick for you to be taking Gronk. You know, we think he's very much an early second round pick and you're I mean, happy beast, with him. Right? You're he's happy with him. But again, it's about that value. It's about you know him falling a little bit and us then taking gobbling him up at that point. If you're between him and Jeremy Hill, that's when I think he might fall on the wrong that's side. That's very good, actually. So, you know, other guys like Jimmy, we see him going sometimes early second. You know, we don't want that. With you know, Kelsey, he's the big everyone loves, take him in the third. That's not the right value for him either, you know, so but there is five tight ends that we're really, really excited about, and then that's where the cut is. So we got Gronk, Jimmy, Olsen, Kelsey, and Bennett, and we actually have Kelsey ranked over Olsen, even though Olsen's ADP is better than Kelsey's. Long story short, those are the five guys after Bennett that's kind of the cutoff. So, you know, we always like to discuss that. So if you really want an elite guy, you got to start thinking about that, and Bennett's ADP is 67. So just, that's a thing to note. But this year is... I, don't, I can't remember the tight end position ever being like this. It's very strange. I mean, you have Gronk up in a tier by himself. You have Jimmy up in a tier by himself. Then you got a few guys. But once you get past tier three, it just keeps going in terms of guys that you would at least be excited about. Normally, there's like a huge drop off at like eight. Yeah, we and couldn't then, break it into like two. Right. It was I mean, like, here's a cut and well, there's a lot of guys. Everyone is going to leave their draft with at least a tight end that they're somewhat okay with. I mean, you got, you got Ertz down there. You got the... The Indy tight ends, you still got Gates after he comes back, Daniels, even if you go later, you got Donnell, Eifert, Safarian Jenkins, Ladarius Green. All these guys have big upsides. I mean, they might not pan out, but after draft day, you're at least excited about them. So with it being that deep all the way down, that's why we're saying you're not taking a tight end until it's the end of the draft, which obviously would be good value or whoever you decide to take, or if one of the other guys slips maybe half a round later than they should, or maybe a full round then you'll take one of the top guys. Right. I mean, we counted about 16 tight ends and we walk out of a draft and we're like, you know what? Okay. I'm all right with that. You know, <laughs> Julius Thomas is not with Peyton Manning anymore, but you know what? If you get him and you get him super late, you're like, I'm you're all right with happy. that. You're still happy with that. And we got some exciting news. We have an app that you can get on your phone. Go to the App Store. Just search Fancy Smack Talk. You can read all of our articles, see our videos. You'll see that logo. Very simple to use. And we also have our other app available on Kindle now, so you can get it on your phones. Or if you want it on the iPad, you can go to the iTunes Store. It's Fancy Football University. It's a how-to guide, very in-depth. Gives you all the information you need to dominate your league. And it tells you about drafting, during the league management, playoff management, managing bye weeks, trades, whole bunch of fun stuff. And subscribe to yeah! Oh, he's getting excited. I am so happy football's coming. <laughs> so happy. It's coming.